This is thirty, almost twenty, thirty thousand dollars in two cards. Yes. Yep. You're not joking. This is some stuff we'll Joe never Montana, see again. Joe Cool inscription. I love triple threads. Triple threads. I absolutely My love triple threads. Time. More limited collectors pieces. Five. <laughs> <laughs> Pumped. All right, I need a timeout. I am going to spend the next 12 hours looking for sports cards in Louisville, Kentucky. The guy that works at Met Alex, man, he's he's awesome, man. Okay. I mean, I've, I've never been to a shop like this, but yeah, just sold some of my cards, man. We just found the largest card shop in Louisville. Maybe the country. But. Maybe the country. <laughs> I'm here with Alex. Alex, how long you had this? So we have been in Louisville. We opened in 2012, but we've been in this location for about a year and a half, almost two years now. Pretty much got told by my mom and dad to go get a real job, and I did that for many, many years until I said, no, this is my real job. It is my passion, and I want to get up and go to work every day and touch sports cards, get to talk about sports. Started small, and over the past basically 11, 12 years, we have turned into what you're about to see. Never in a million years did I think 12 years ago I was going to turn into this, but I never thought we would take over an office depot have 18, 20,000 square feet, more display case than they, they, I had to order them in lots because they couldn't get them all in on trucks. Wow. They didn't have enough in inventory. Your passion, grit, and grind is so inspiring. You're gonna inspire a lot of people, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. Why don't you show us the baby, the sports cards? Cool. Let's do a little tour. So when you first come to the left, you'll see our one to three dollar cards. Every card sleeved and priced. All the fun stuff that everyone wants to look at. How often, wow, these are cool. Sandy Kofax for two bucks. How often are you restocking these? Oh, daily. As you see a couple guys over here digging already. You guys, you find some good stuff in there? Yeah, a little bit. I love digging through, you know, value boxes. I mean, how often do you guys come in here? Uh, we can come maybe a couple times a month. Pick out what we want, what we don't want. We'll put them That's what I do. I, so what I usually do is I'll grab a stack. Yeah. And I'll put in like all in one stack and I'll have the maybe pile, the yes pile, the yeah. no pile, and then we'll That's just get exactly it done. That's exactly what we're doing. We had been buying vintage sports and we had been hoarding it in boxes for a decade. So everything from original Ruth Gowdy's to there's Mantle 51 Bowman. You got 58 Mantles here. It's one of my favorite cards, man. That's one of the cards where they had a white letter and a yellow letter. So the 69 Tops favorite is because when I was younger, this was his last playing day card, and it was the most affordable Mickey Mantle. This was always my vision because our name is through the decades. So I want the store to run through as the decades as you go. So right now you're in the 60s. Almost everybody's favorite set, 86 there clear basketball. Did you ever own a... What were you doing in 1986? 1986, I would have been about seven years old and I was probably still playing with my Star Wars figures. Hadn't quite discovered sports cards yet, if I'm being honest. And you have the- 80s. And that's a total lot. I'm still playing with my Star Wars figures. <laughs> <laughs> when you buy like we do, we have a reputation for paying correct. You saw the gentleman walk out with a handful of cash. If you prefer check or PayPal or whatever, that's what we'll send. But if you want cash, you know that we always have it. We're not gonna run out. We're here to pay you. So we have Jordan rookie, obviously, Jordan's second years. I feel like there's a couple other Jordan rookies somewhere. Maybe they're mixed in boxes. And are you guys grading a lot or how, how often? So believe it or not, I don't grade. Um, it's not that I think there's anything wrong with it. It's not that it's not great. It adds tremendous value to our cards, but we want to provide it au naturel. And if you prefer to have your cards graded, feel free. We'll absolutely tell you what we think we're great. We've been doing this a long time. We're pretty good at it. But we'll also say if you're just old school and you want to keep it in the case and have it in your set or put it in your binder, we're prepared for that too. Next up, vintage football. And then you, you can't pass up on the Louisville native Johnny Unitas. He played at U of L, which is hometown Colts team. I grew up as a Kentucky fan. I lived a little closer to Lexington originally, and Mark Pope was my favorite player. Joe, the Joe Montana's. Montana's, the Marino Elway. I mean, all the guys I grew up watching. All right, next up, we got supplies. Everyone's always looking for these, these five rows. Right. We talk about that in every video, basically. Um, so as you can see with our supplies, we do it a little different. We unload it by the case. We unload it by the pallet. You're literally just know, like, it's just open it's up the case and leave it. Uh, but I mean, we, we're going to burn through them between what we do, re-sleeving, because every card you ever buy from us is going to have a new sleeve, a new top load, and then if it's $10 or more, and then it will be in a team bag. So we want you to be able to go home, immediately take that team bag off, price comes off, no residue, and your card is exactly the way you saw it, in a brand new sleeve and top load ready to put in your collection. Wow. We really target local collectors and people that come into town and want to visit us, see it in person, have an opportunity to look around, 
But again, there is always stuff that we do eBay. We'll do a few bigger shows a year, try to get up to Chicago sometimes, et cetera, move some of the product that doesn't sell around here. But as a general rule of thumb, 99.9% of our business is brick and mortar out of these four doors and malls. That's incredible. I have not heard that from any of the shops we visited. No, we're, we take massive pride in that. This is the best deal on the planet. When you compare sealed product and what you can pull from back then, you, where you could still pull Bannings and Walter Payton autographs and Nolan Ryan on card autographs, yeah. like, and it's at the same price as, a, 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 you know, hoops for a Donner S box. Like, get out of here. This is the best deal. I mean, you have 04, 05 tops. I haven't seen that in a while. That's Dwight Howard's working yep. here. A lot of Kobe's, Kobe like, refractors in there. Gravity feed boxes of the Durant's rookie year. You know, some, you know, LeBron rookie year stuff. One of my favorite project, the products, the Fleer Genuine, where every box had an 86 Fleer original card in it. 150 to pull uh, Megatron. And people love coming in and taking a look at it, or buying it and opening it. 2012 Top Supreme. It. I mean, that's, was that Russell Wilson? Yep. I love Triple Threads. Great product. Triple I Threads. I absolutely love Triple Threads. It's one, one of the coolest products. There's booklets, there's game use. There's you get two jerseys, or patches. You get two autographs in every box. There's different players on it with jer game yeah, use jerseys out of 36. Just fun stuff. Do people ever come in here and rip like? Absolutely. Oh, I was born in 1975. Absolutely. I, wanna, I was born in 1960. A lot of times they'll take one pack, one to keep sealed, and then one to open up, see if they can take the shot at the best rookie from that year. So you're in the M's right now. Look at so this, Dan Manny, Marino. Manny Marino, you know, and we're always looking for Hall of Famer, current superstars, autos, game used, you know, patches, serial numbered stuff oh. like that. So as you can see through our cages, you're definitely going to see it is a lot of low risk, high reward investment cards. So And everything's below around five hundred dollars. And, uh, and I noticed like there a is a lot of it. And don't get me wrong, we've got some stuff that we're gonna show you that's you know upper end and fun to see that you'll probably never see again. But one of the things that I really determined was early on is to be honest, people like to sports bet. And if you buy bet a hundred bucks on the Lakers to win, to win two hundred dollars. But what you're really saying is I'm probably a huge LeBron James fan. They're gonna be on TNT tonight and I'm gonna watch it. So we tell people spend a hundred bucks, buy a LeBron James card. If they lose, you don't lose any money. And the more his career goes on, you're gonna win. We firmly believe that this is the evolution of sports betting. All right, so we're gonna show you guys some of the fire that was in the case. And why don't we run through? I mean, yeah. So Deion Sanders five-star oh autograph with the primetime inscription. You're gonna see, we definitely have a taste. We love inscriptions, we love on card. Jerry Rice Super Bowl MVP inscription, five-star. You're not joking, this is some stuff we'll Joe never Montana, see again. Joe Cool inscription, Peyton Manning, Eli Manning rookie, dual on card auto, Justin Herbert gold select rookie auto, PSA 10 with 10 auto, game U Super wow. Bowl patch, Tom Brady, Tom Brady auto patch out of 12. Uh, obviously Josh Allen downtown. Uh, LeBron exquisite, but it is number 23 of 50. We're big fans of our jersey number stuff here. Wow. Prime tag LeBron out of 13. We love exquisite. My, our, our Magic Johnson exquisite. Some of the best values in sports right now are LeBron James rookies, especially like the platinum medallions out of 100, those golds. All that low end numbered George, our LeBron rookies are a steal right now in the marketplace. You know, LeBron 9 5 Chrome's personal touch inscription gladiator. I've seen the one sell a few times, but I haven't seen the gladiator. So it's three it's uh, inscription uh, your hero, which was his mother, favorite food, which is pizza, and then favorite movie was gladiator. Wow. Uh, LeBron on, well, kind of on card, non sticker, I guess is the better word. LeBron rookie Ruby. What was that, a 50 or a 100? 100, or 50, excuse me. Look at these LeBron James. LeBron what? King James inscription. This is one of my favorite. It's all all-star patches. So if you know, they only get one all-star jersey a, a year, maybe 10, 15, 20 seasons. All-star jerseys are where they're at. Hardest things to get. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just got recently out of Flawless, the one of five. Oh. And as my guys always like to tease, it's one plus five, it's jersey number six. <laughs> we're, we're joking. We would oh. not eBay that one. Look it's at this. Way, one of, my Cavaliers. favorite LeBron card we had. Oh number two of three, Cavalier tags. You have some of the best LeBron James cards I've seen in a long time. Uh, Exquisite on card, Kobe out of 24, Larry Bird exquisites, Kareem exquisites, Charles Barkley Diamond, Cleet Mike Trout. This is one of my favorite Jackie Robinson cards. This card was actually never released to the public. It didn't go into packs. So it's actually not numbered. There's been a few surface over the years. I still believe what in Zion. Car. And as a Jordan collector as well, I had, these are just, you have to own those when they're the Jordan. So when you're talking about Zion, you think Zion will come back strong? Oh, I, I'm telling you boys, watch what, what, out. What are the factors in Zion coming back? I, I gotta ask you since you. So 
It's the same thing we said about Embiid's. It's the same thing we said about other players that came out. Don't be scared of them being hurt. Anthony Davis, he ended up playing all of his games. Give him a chance, let him mature. They let him get stronger, get into their body size. I'm telling you, Zion is going to have a bonker breakout year. Logo man, Paul Pierce. I know that doesn't have a price. What do you price it at? I'd say that's probably in the ballpark of five or 6,000, okay. give or take. Uh, one of one, uh, Orlando Magic star patch of Shaquille O'Neal. Jordan on card, Jordan on card, Jordan on card. Jordan on card. Who's your GOAT, LeBron James or Jordan? It's Jordan. And now I'm going to say it this way, though. Jordan is the best team basketball fundamental player. LeBron James is the most dominant, skilled, strength and speed combination I've ever seen. But don't get caught up in arguing who is better than the other, because as a lifetime suffering Nick fan, I spent my entire life hating Michael Jordan. And I look back going, man, I should have been enjoying it. I should have been relishing in it. So don't get caught up in hating someone or comparing who's first or second. Who cares? And for the record, Kobe might have been better than both of them. One of the most iconic insert sets of all time. Jordan autographs, Jordan autographs, jersey number, Jordan autographs, jersey number, Jordan auto. Wow. Magic Jordan my life. Duel. What the heck? Those are some of my favorite cards because when they sign the actual jersey Dude. and it's in center, you know they didn't switch the patch out. Dude, people in Los Angeles would lose their mind over oh, that. Oh, it's gorgeous. Did you ever bring that to shows? Uh, we actually picked this up fairly recently. Wow. I'd say we probably haven't had that a month or Never two. Never seen that card. Uh, the Jordan Kicks, uh, Jordan Patch, Jordan on card Marquee Auto at a 10, uh, Jordan Jersey number 23 of 23, uh, out of 23, Jordan Patch Auto Exquisite. Do you think Fanatics can land LeBron or do you think LeBron doesn't need it or he won't sign with Fanatics tops? Well, it, I mean, he's technically with Upper Deck, so he can't sign. But couldn't he break contract and I mean, move I, on? I doubt Upper Deck would go down without a fight. I, I don't think Jordan or LeBron will ever sign in a sealed product again. Black Lotus is the Michael Jordan of magic. This right here? Yep. So there are three sets in which Power 9 were produced. It's Alpha, Beta, and Unlimited. You're holding the Unlimited versions. So what is something like this worth? Uh, ballpark, what, 10 to 15,000? 10 to 15, 000. 10 to 15 yeah. yeah. This right here? Yep. 10 to 15,000. Ungraded? Ungraded. This is 30, almost 20, $30,000 in two cards. Yes. Yep. And each of the other pieces, I would say, are on average, what, several thousand a piece, give or take, yeah. everything else on the counter. What year were these? That was 1993. Time Walk's actually my favorite card. It's take another turn after the first one. And if you're like me, maybe you weren't the perfect human being early on. So I love this card because it gives you an opportunity to take another turn after your first one. And this was my rebirth card. So this was the card that I came back on and I said, I'm going to start everything over. I'm going to build a business. I'm going to grow it. We're going to do the right things. So Time Walk holds significant meaning to me. I 100% believe in that, man. I, I think you could rebirth and restart your life. It's it sounds like you, you did that. I've had the opportunity to, to do a lot of things and I actually came back to work for Alex and it's been a life-changing experience from the first time I was here to coming back and working for him. He's the best boss I've ever had. All day long, my phone blows up, their laptops blow up, and they're pulling the list for the customers that want to come in and pick it up. And this stuff right here. Yep. And and how the, often are we restocking the bag? Oh, daily, daily. Like right now they have 22 five rows that they are refiling back into here. It's new stuff, new product we bought. I would say on average, we buy about a five row, 5,000, 7,000 cards every week for Magic that are $5 or better. What it's the it? new Lurkana game that's coming out. So it has an August release, if I remember correctly, and we were one of the stores 11, it's either 11 or 13 in the state of Kentucky that were picked to carry this product. And of the ones in Kentucky were two of the stores. So we're quite honored to know that we are about 20% of all Kentucky Lorcana dealers in the country. Wow. And you guys are getting the exclusive. We haven't announced that until right now. There you go. If we don't buy everything and have everything ready for the customer, then they're gonna quit coming here. We believe in you have everything, so we don't ever hear I can get it online because they know they can get it here. Alec and Mac have brought us our- What's up, boys? Max and doing? brought us some <laughs> stuff. Hey, What's up, buddy? What's up? This is Jay. So up, Jay? they brought us out some fun Pokemon cards oh. to look at. Is why he's looking at those. If you look, we've got sealed boxes from some of the original Pokemon sets. Wow, that's like $10,000. 
And then we've got sealed packs. You can see the slab section there. You got some singles here. Yep. yep. So just kind of an assortment of some of the sure. fun stuff. Absolutely. It's a Hitmonchan first edition. I actually have this graded Shovels, in my yeah. house. It's a classic. Gyarados. I bought them because they look cool, and, and they're actually they're some of them are like you know collectible assets in a way. But do people still play the original Pokemon game? Absolutely. What they'll do is they'll sit down, they have 60 card decks, and they will play for prizes up to $1,000 in cash in here. Every every Saturday we have $1,000 cash events. Every day, every week we have other events. So players can come in and play. Some of the super older stuff is not played quite as often, but it's still, like you said, collectible. And if you're in our age bracket, you could have not grown up with you know, picking your favorite legendary and, and going. So, you know, yeah. Pikachu, Charizard, Blastoise, yes. or Venusaur. So every set, back to Shadowless Pokemon, is set sorted, alphabetized. So anybody who wants to build a deck, finish a set, produce a product, all they have to do is send us their list or walk in and tell us, wow, and we will pull literally are, every card. All the products, Power Keepers, Platinum, Sun and Moon, Stormfront, and they're all organized by number. Yeah. Absolutely. Wow. And as you see, you can, every single case mid here is just filled. I mean, just 50 of every copy of every playable card that anybody would need. I really love this shop. I mean, I'll be honest, I, I found a Mew, e, a Mew EX over in that box in the $5 bin. What's a Mew EX worth? Uh, 60, 70 60. bucks. Yeah. So I experience that with sports cards all the time. Yeah. What is that feeling for you, like when you find that card that's like in a $5 box? Well, at first, at first, you know, you're like, uh, is someone going to come take this from me because this yeah. shouldn't be here? And yeah. so, yeah, just like, uh, well, yeah, just excitement. I, I, you know, I, I, uh, I, I buy and sell a lot. I love to collect. So, you know, I'm going right to the binder. I'm Jay, by the way. Luke, Luke, nice to meet you. That's really cool, man. So with Yu-Gi-Oh, they don't give away as much cash, so they create value. So they create these incredibly limited pieces, and then you play in tournaments to win them. So these big cards will sell for eight hundred thousand dollars plus. So I remember opening this. I owned Exodia, Blue Eyes White Dragon. I remember opening the Kaiba starter decks. I mean, all these. Blue Eyes White Dragon is one of the most. Played this game. I remember freaking relinquish like all these. This is like this is right up my alley. This yeah. is what I started with. Well, glad and we then I got into sports cards and more. But I used to duel in tournaments back in 2004, 2005, Excellent. and just try to win prizes, like you said. Every set, alphabetized, tabbed, in order. So if you need a list pulled or cards pulled, we go through, pull them all out for you. You don't have to do the work. We do everything. Something I I noticed that really you're <laughs> capitalizing on that I've not seen in shops is there's a lot of game players and they need a lot of these we, sports guys we complete sets but these game guys need the power-ups they need everything so when they do in these tournaments it's really interesting because i don't see a lot of shops cater to this caliber. we do and, and, and I, I think it's because so sports cards was my first love then i started playing magic in the back of my biology class which is why i had to go to college three times to get a degree but it gave us the opportunity and i loved it and it was always frustrating for me because i wanted to go to a store and get the card that i wanted to today and I don't want to wait and that was our value and we knew that if we built it that away there was others like me. Little paints, little game boards, so you said this is your newest edition. So this is pretty much our newest edition so we just started this when we moved into this location of November two Novembers ago so it's D&D &D. it's board games but this isn't your normal Monopoly these are fun board games. They are intricate, they are thought provoking, but they also have things that are targeted towards kids. Then we do miscellaneous action figures. And if you look to your right, you can see all the glass cases. That's where we put not necessarily the most expensive stuff, but the, the more unique collectibles. So your old Power Rangers, your old Ninja Turtles, your old original Star Wars figures. So we've just started buying up all of the consoles that we could find that are from, Whoa. you know, Toys R Us's. So we've actually got a gentleman that comes what in once a week heck? and he just fixes all of these machines for us. So they're fully off. Bro, I, uh, yeah, we got a few working. I used to, my mom will go to Target. With that neck, just cranked it's up. It's over, yeah. man. And they fully, we're getting them behind yeah. us, they're cheering us on, they're telling us about the games. Oh, it's the best. And that's what we want to bring back. Mom comes back in three hours. Yeah, people can just come, hang out, play. These are ancient artifacts. Yep. This so is like a phone booth. Just really starting to We've build got PlayStation, up. PlayStation 2. We've got PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 4 exclusive games, Xbox 360. I mean, you got the list goes on. By the way, if you're watching this, we're looking to hire a video game expert. You should come and talk to me. Hey, <laughs> Bill Grass, come on. So what we've started to do is put some of our best, you know, pieces in the display case. 
we're starting to set up the repair center so that way you can get your old consoles fixed and you can see we've just begun setting everything up so again apologize for the mess christmas present the first year i moved to kentucky in 1989 i believe it was i mean when you so, see something like that you remember that day oh, i remember you? it like everything because my mom's still mad because i like squirted behind the tree and opened a small gift first but it was a game for the game boy so she was mad that I had opened the game before the Game Boy, so she felt like it was a That's what happened with you know? us. I opened Mario Kart before the GameCube, and it was uh, over. Yeah. Mario Kart's double She'll never deluxe. forgive us for that, will they? Never. And I found the <laughs> pinball machine in the closet. More limited collector's pieces, things that were only available at, you know, different stores or different conventions, etc. So I admit this is something that I'm learning new about. So I, I definitely have Funkos at my house, so I've, I've collected all the Wizard of Oz ones, which are actually kind of rare now. Uh, Bob's Burgers, one of my favorite cartoons. And then that kind of got me into it. People kept asking for them so i'm like all right well we got to start learning this and how much power do you give your employees to buy all so we just had a staff meeting i i do not interrupt buys i do not interrupt sales i'm not saying that if they don't need help or if they need some a second opinion they don't ask me but they have full power to buy there's no collection too big or too small that they have to call me on the stories in here like people think that it's just kids playing games but it's not man i got doctors lawyers dentists pharmacists and teachers you know it just it's it's great though like it is unbelievable i wanted to create a safe space and it turned into like a, a safe warehouse and, and it wasn't really the intention but it, it really kind of became that people are different and they're allowed to be different and i am thankful for that i would have never got all of those experiences if i didn't come here it is the wow. best decision i ever made and this, so. man this is this is it man and i can tell it's framed a lot of your life too it has just, yeah, wouldn't hear, wouldn't met my wife. Like everything came together. Like I just, I mean, I couldn't be happier. And again, I got 25 people or whatever that are, I don't want to say falling in my footsteps because they're creating their own path. They're just kind of using us as an experience to get there, wow. you know? So that's our objective. All right, we came in here out of nowhere. We saw some dude walk out with cash. We met you, was fired up in here. <laughs> Absolute 165 in a good way. Appreciate through the decades, Alex, appreciate you. Thank you so much for coming in. If you guys want to get in touch with us, we're through the decades, the collectible market. We're located at 1850 South Hurstbourne Parkway, Louisville, Kentucky. If you want to catch us online, type in TTD Carts. That's what we are on basically everything. So add sports if you want to find the sports page, add gaming if you want to find the gaming pages, or also search us by through the decades. Cool. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like, drop a comment down below, don't forget to subscribe. If you're ever in Louisville, Kentucky, you better come say what's up to Alex. Tell him you watched this video and tell him you said what's up and you're gonna get some great cards, but you're also gonna get an even better experience. Appreciate See it. See you guys. Thank you guys.